Hey guys, I'm Gavin, and this is my friend Carissa. Today, we, we battle. battle. Marshmallow Mad. Madness. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. These aren't regular marshmallows. They've been injected with some crazy stuff. And what's gonna happen is Carissa and I, we have this crown with a carousel. It has marshmallows on it. Our goal is to eat the three good marshmallows and try to avoid the bad marshmallows. All right. So the first to get the three good ones will win. Ready to battle? Let's do this. Round one. Queen Marshmallow is here. Let's go. All these marshmallows. <laughs> oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Catch the marshmallow. <laughs> okay, all right. This is actually really hard. Oh. Ah, dang it. Oh, it goes the other way. Whoa. Whoa, wait. Hey. <laughs> oh, my words. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Okay, there's one. Oh, Is that a good go. one? Hmm. It's like Chubby Bunny. It's a good one. Oh. This is so wow. good. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Man. Come on, Gavin. Come on, you got this one. This one. This is the one. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like uh, a piranha. No good ones, no bad ones. I'd say that's a win. All right, here we go. Go for it. You ready? Oh, oh there you uh, go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Oh, you're uh, I don't know how you didn't get that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. I definitely tasted something on that one. <laughs> oh, it keeps turning. One. Ooh, that's a good oh. one. I should get that one. It keeps turning on me here. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, there you go. I'm going to go on this one. Uh, oh. Is, this nothing? is that a good one, too? This is a good one, too. Are you kidding me? Round two of another good one, a safe mallow. Dang. Wow. All right, here we go. Here All right, we go. Gavin, you got this. Okay, come on. Come on, Gavin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, he went for it. He went mm -hmm. for it. Keep going. Oh, yep. Uh, oh. <laughs> I can smell it. I don't know what that is, but that is nasty. What? Can you guess? No. Because it's it's like a fish sauce. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> a oh. fish sauce. I don't know, but it was bad, so uh, get out of the way. Get. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh. Cue the music. Mm, there it is. And do the movement. Let's go. Marshmallows. Let's go. That's a good one. You should go for that one. Oh, oh. And oh, it's coming back. It's coming good. back. There you go. Is there any surprise? Uh oh. Uh oh. It. <laughs> this tastes uh, like. Actually, it tastes really good. Okay, come on. <laughs> Wait, is this the is good marshmallow? Good this is a good marshmallow! Yeah. Woo! Let's go! Why'd you spit it out? Because I did taste something. Scared? Yeah, it tasted mm -hmm. like garlic. Krissa, round two at the same time, the first to three. Are you ready? Woo! Here we go. Let's go, baby! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. A good one! Let's go! Okay, first one down. We're going to keep going. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks like something bad. I, don't, I can't even guess it because I didn't taste enough of it. I, I think it's like Chipotle mayo or something. Okay. Oh my god, that's disgusting. What? Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to scoop that right over here. Ah. Okay, here, oh, we, here, go. here we go. All right, oh, I'm nice. going for this guy. <laughs> I'm already getting one. Second one down, let's Are you go! Serious? All right, here we go. That's a good one. Mmm. That's a good one. Yeah, let's go. Is that your first? That's a good one. There's stuff on my nose. Ugh, that's disgusting. Come on, come on back. Come on back. There you are. Come on, baby. Ah, uh oh. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, my gosh. What'd you get? I have no idea. Oh, I had that one. Oh. It wasn't bad. Oh. 
What is this though? I don't know, but it smells spicy. The texture spicy. is disgusting. I'm gonna get that one soon. Let's mm -hmm. go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. ah. Ooh. All right. Oh, that is strong. What? Oh, These no. are spicy. Oh yeah, it is. That oh. is good. <laughs> What is this? It's like horseradish. I'm gonna guess this is worse. like... Ooh, that cleared up my nostrils. Like jalapeno oh, yeah. pickles? Looks I like don't know. relish. Or that's a... Yeah. It's spicy This though. is gonna make me sneeze. Yeah, I, know. I can't get the one. I keep going round and round. I'm, I'm gonna go. Mm. Come on. Mm. Ooh, what is that? That looks like poop. Why is it brown? Okay, you're easily gonna get that last one. I just can't. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> All right, next time it comes around, I'm just Over going for here. it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah. Come on. Uh. It, oh. It's salty. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that brown one. Yeah. Ooh, you just had this. Woo! Woo! This is disgusting. Am I done? Yeah. Oh yeah, spit it out. Well. Woo! You you undoubtedly won that one. Bon appetit. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. How's it taste? Why is it spicy? Exactly. Ugh. And green. That is so green. It looks kind of like boogers. Peppery. Oh, these are disgusting. Woo. So spicy and mellow. <sighs> All right. Oh, congrats for winning. Yeah. Wow, that was a crazy battle, but Krista, congrats for winning Marshmallow Madness. Uh, the Bible actually has a lot of cool battle stories, and we're gonna hear about one of these battle stories from one of our friends. Hey guys, I'm Nate. One of the best battle stories from the Bible is when Jonathan, who was the prince of Israel and his armor bearer, fought against an entire Philistine outpost. It was just the two of them against an entire outpost. Let me read you what they said to each other just before they attacked. This is 1 Samuel 14, verses six and seven. Let's go across to the outpost of those pagans, Jonathan said to his armor bearer. Perhaps the Lord will help us for nothing can hinder the Lord. He can win a battle whether he has many warriors or only a few. Do what you think is best, the armor bearer replied. I'm with you completely, whatever you decide. Wow, that is bold. Jonathan and his armor bearer both decided to risk it big, knowing that they followed a big God, bigger and stronger than the Philistines. And their boldness paid off. They actually defeated the outpost and that small victory led to an even greater victory for the entire army of Israel. Sometimes we need a friend to encourage us to take risks, try something new, and just have courage. Jonathan and his armor bearer had each other. But what about you? Do you have a friend that you might think is a little crazy? Not like destructive or disrespectful crazy. Stay away from that kind of crazy. Those aren't true friends. I mean a good crazy kind of friend. Someone that's always up for an adventure to do something big or to try something new that's positive and good, healthy fun. Maybe you have a story about how that friend introduced you to try a new game or a new kind of food, or even invited you here to church. If so, share that story with your group right now. Take some time to do that, and then we'll get our Bible breakdown with Matt.
what's better than one superhero fighting the battle for justice? Two superheroes, a dynamic duo. Of course I'm talking about Matt and Gavin. Yeah, I'm the best. Batman, right. yeah! Okay, no. We're pretty cool as a team, but alas, we are not superheroes. Or are we? Whoa. No, again, we're not. But I do love superhero team-ups. In Marvel Comics, there are awesome dynamic duos like Captain America and Falcon, or Ant-Man and the Wasp, or Rocket and Groot. But heroic team-ups aren't limited to Marvel. In Star Wars, there's famous duos like Han Solo and Chewbacca, or Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, or Ahsoka Tano and Captain Rex. And I guess you could count The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, if you really wanted. And stories with heroic team-ups aren't always about fighting battles. Some stories are just about friends working well together to overcome all kinds of problems, like stories about toys. Think about Woody and Buzz in all their movies. Or how about movies with cars working together? Cars like Lightning McQueen and Mater. Even friendly monsters can work together. Monsters like Sully and Mike Wazowski. I love all those dynamic duos. And stories about dynamic duos have been around forever. Even really old stories have heroes with their trusted partners or sidekicks. Sherlock Holmes, a famous detective, had Dr. John Watson. The Lone Ranger, a Western lawman, had Tonto. And one of my personal favorites, Zorro, the masked swordsman, had Bernardo. The character of Zorro actually helped inspire one of the most famous heroes of all time, another masked man who patrols the streets of Gotham City, striking fear into the hearts of all criminals. You guessed it, Plastic Man. No, of course, it's Batman. Batman! Which brings me to the most famous of the dynamic duos. In fact, when people use the term dynamic duo, they usually mean Matman and Gavin. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. No, they mean Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin are one of the best and most powerful teams. I mean, when they fight the bad guys, these two are so powerful that giant words actually appear around them. It's weird, but it's true. In our Bible story, Jonathan and his armor bearer didn't have the power of words showing up out of nowhere, but they clearly did have a very real power on their side. They had the power of God. They knew it didn't matter if it was just the two of them. If God was on their side, they would win because God always wins. So they decided they could be a dynamic duo for God and it worked. Now, I, I don't wanna fight actual battles like that, but my life can feel like a battle at times. Life can be so difficult and frustrating, but I always have hope. Just like Jonathan and his armor bearer encouraged one another, I have great friends who follow Jesus and we encourage each other. And more than that though, I have Jesus himself. Jesus died and rose again. The ultimate proof that God always wins, no matter what we face in life. And because I follow Jesus, I get to be part of a very real dynamic duo. Jesus is the greatest hero, and I get to be his partner and sidekick. And so do you if you follow him. You won't have to fight a Philistine outpost like Jonathan and his armor bearer, but you will go on all kinds of crazy adventures when you follow Jesus. You might encounter difficult circumstances on those adventures, but you can always have hope for your life to be the best it can possibly be. You can always trust Jesus. I know I do, because my God always wins. <laughs>